Okay, guys, good morning. I'm not filming myself this morning. I'm just going to show uh, the beautiful skyline this morning in, in Los Angeles. I'm near St. Mary's College. Wanted to talk about two topics that have been on my mind. I've seen these words trending, and I just feel in my spirit I need to just talk about these two words that are trending. One is the upgrade, and one is the ascension. So the upgrade, okay, so... The upgrade has been talked about a lot. Um, it's being presented to us in the form of a technology implant, you know, a chip implant. Uh, we've got 5G that goes along with it. And by the way, 5G is, is very damaging to our health. I mean, there's lots of evidence that it is, and we need to fight that. But I think 5G is part of this new technology upgrade as well as a chip implant. But I just want to remind everyone of a scripture it talks about the chip. We are not to take the chip. Um, okay. Here it is. It's in Revelation 14. If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or, his, or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. So there is going to be a lot of pressure to take this chip and this technology so-called upgrade. Remember, everything that um, God offers, Satan is going to try to offer a counterfeit. And technology is his counterfeit to enable man to experience eternal life and, you know, all the good stuff. But um, the chip instead is going to trap us, trap our souls and stop our potential as sons and daughters of God. Our upgrade is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is given to us as a free gift when we believe in Jesus Christ and we ask him to come in and be our Savior and Lord. And, you know, we get baptized, hands laid on us, we get prayed, we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's God coming to live inside of us. And he's going to upgrade us to eternal life, to rule in the kingdom of heaven. So that's the first uh, trending word. We don't want the upgrade they're offering. We want the upgrade of the Holy Spirit to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Second. The ascension, I keep hearing this term, the ascension, and I see different people talking about it on YouTube stations. They seem to be saying that man is just coming to a point where we're going to evolve and just um, it's time to go into the next dimension and ascend. You know, all of us, we've come to this point of evolution and just let go of fear and embrace love and we're going to ascend, you know, and that sounds very suspiciously close to um, the scripture in the Bible, I'll, I'll put it in the link where it says that uh, Lucifer wanted to ascend above God in the heavens and make his throne above the heavens, but he's been cast out and cast down. Um, um, also in the Gospels, it says no one has ascended to heaven except him who came down. And that was uh, Jesus Christ, God's only begotten son. So, the key here is that those who are going to be taken up and ascend into eternal life are those who are in God's only son, Christ, Christ Jesus. Um, it says he is the only way back to the father and into eternal life. I'm not just talking about so-called heaven or another dimension, but I'm talking about the kingdom of heaven, the eternal kingdom of ever increasing peace. So nobody's going to ascend unless they ascend the inside of Christ. You got to receive the Holy Spirit. You got to be one with Jesus Christ. You got to be one with God. And you don't ascend outside of God on your own, from your own growth, from your own spirit, from your own evolution. You must come back to the one who is the true imprint of our reality that was lost in paradise. Okay, um, I think that's it for now. Bye-bye.